pallets on the ground or two for a dollar. Yeah, sure. Do you guys buy like return pallets or something? Pretty much. Gotcha. What are you asking for it? What would you like to offer? She used to work for Luxotica and she has tons of sunglasses left over. Got three dollars here. Right. Thanks for the bag. Yeah, no there you go. Fill up the sale. Thanks. Have a good one.
I have bags for that stuff if you like. Oh, them. yeah, sure. Is this whole row two for a dollar? All the boxes on the ground are two for a dollar. Gotcha. Do you guys buy like return pallets or something? Yeah. Pretty much? Gotcha. I mean, if my mom's overstocked, I don't know too much. But... I have another bag. I am ready to settle up with you here. Yeah. Well, that worked out pretty well. Yeah. Now ask what you record. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You do resellers? Yep. Thanks so much. You guys yep. have a good day. You too. Is it the yes. one? Yeah, yeah, you went. Okay. Perfect. This is the surround sound stereo system yeah. that has um, actually the pieces are up there. Are you selling this bag? I am. What are you asking for it? What would you like to offer? How about Where five you? bucks? I would take five bucks. Okay. It has literally sat in our garage for a long time. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I love your YouTube channel. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. I've watched it for a long time. What's your name? Justin. Justin John, man. Nice to meet you. Got some color block there. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. Morning. Good morning. Could you take five for your VCR? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll start a pile here. If people are so using VCRs, you gotta. Yeah. <laughs> I'll set it over here. And... I think... Hang on, I think the remotes are mixed up. Oh, it is? Oh, you're right, that's a DVD one. I have the remote for that, though. Okay. So, okay. She used to work for Luxottica and she just has tons of suck glasses left over. Oh, seriously? Yeah. So. Do you have even more than this? No, I think that's what she, I mean, she bought some samples a couple years ago. And gotcha. Laying around, so. <clears throat> oh, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate I that. I kept saying to him, I'm like, I know I've seen that remote for the DVD place. I'm like, I couldn't find it. I think these are all 20, right, Tanya? And this, this is the only one that's 30. These yeah. are all 20. Yeah. Gotcha. The, um, titanium this the titanium one is more expensive. Moda. I haven't even heard of that. That's cool. It's just light. And then those are the, these are kids. The and kids. That, and that's the women's, yeah. Gotcha. Mm. All right, maybe 25. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you so much.
Hi, how are you? I'm well. It's all there. I think they played it twice. Oh, no kidding? And this was like uh, 24 years ago. Wow. So it's like original. That's cool. I asked them both because they both still collect Pokemon cards. But oh, they yeah. They don't want the game anymore. I'm huh. like, seriously? That's got to be worth something. But right now, it's just taking up space in my house. <laughs> I'll take this. Thank you. There you go. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. Thank you so much. Back at the house, it was a really good day at the garage sales. I got a huge variety of stuff. Picked up this Eddie Bauer vintage bag. Um, it's purple, pink, mesh. Very unique. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, very rare. I can't find any of them on eBay. Some vintage Eddie Bauer, Eddie Bauer bags do pretty well. Um, just because this one is rare doesn't mean it's valuable, but it's got a cool look to it, so I'm hoping to get... I don't know, 30 or 40 bucks for it. We'll see. I got a VCR for five bucks with the remote. That should bring 40. I got this Pokemon Master Trainer game. I paid five bucks for that. It's going for about 40. This is the one from 2005. Keep an eye out for the one from 99. It's a blue box and it's going between like 100 and 150 dollars. So that is a good bolo for sure. Got some Oakleys. They had some other pair, uh, like some kids' ones. But I only bought this one because I thought um, at the price point of 20 bucks, this is probably the one I could make some money on. This, these are going for like 60 to 70 It's the FLAC 2.0. Got some odds and ends cables for $0.50. Cents. I can never have uh, too many HDMI and uh, composite cables. All this stuff here from the sale was really interesting. Um, everything was $0.50. Cents and there was a mixed bag of like some things were expired. Some things were just kind of like cheap products. They had said that they had bought like a return pallet. So what I did was I found things that I could kind of lot up. Uh, for example, like this Bosley hair growth stuff. If you just sell one, they're only going for like five or six bucks. But if you, you know, do a lot of them, you can get probably 20, 25 bucks. So I've only got like 250 into this lot of five. And I think I can get between 20 and 30 bucks for it. And there's even more than that. There's even more Bosleys in there. I got a lot of this Nicoderm stuff um, because I know that it sells, but pretty much all of it, I do believe, is expired. So this one expired January of 2024. I don't know if I can list these. Um, be very, very, very careful anytime you're listing stuff that's expired because uh, eBay might not let you and they might um, ding your account. Um, so do your own research before you do any of that. But my thought process was I got so many different pieces for 50 cents each that I don't think I can lose. Uh, for example, like... This women's row game doesn't expire until next year, and it's going for like 20 bucks. Looks like it's been retaped, so that could be tricky. Um, but yeah, I, I do think that there's some money to be made here. I got these little headphones just as like stocking stuffers for the kids. But like these uh, liquid ant baits, I actually just had to buy some of these like six months ago, and they're not cheap. I think a box like this goes for 7 or $8. So my thought process is I'll just lot up a bunch of these and hopefully get 20 to 30 bucks for the lot. But yeah, we'll see. Um, I think maybe a third of this, maybe half of this, I might not even be able to list, period, if it's expired or you know eBay policies or whatever. But I do think there'll be enough to list to flip and make some money. Grabbed a couple things for a buck each at this one sale. This blood pressure monitor is going for like 10 to 15. This is maybe going for like five or six bucks. That was a bad buy. Uh, but this little electrotherapy thing is going for about 20. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>